What's going on guys, it's Nero from TechView. It's iPhone 6 launch day. In front of us is the iPhone 6 and we're going to give you a quick demo on how to set up your new iPhone 6 showing off the new changes in the iOS startup process. So once you so once you unlock your phone, turn your phone on, you're gonna see this hello welcome sign, which is then repeated in a range of languages. And what you've got to do now is slide to the right like that. And it brings up asking you which language you'd like. We're gonna use English. And then it says select your country or region. We're in the United Kingdom. So yeah, we're gonna continue and just press United Kingdom. And now it asks you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And there's two ways to do this. You can either connect to iTunes, but that's the long way, that's old. We want to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So choose a Wi-Fi network and it'll ask you to enter a password. Once you've entered the password, you're going to see it try to connect and then it'll come up with a tick when it's connected. You can see also the Wi-Fi icon comes up in the top and now it'll activate your iPhone. And that's it, it's really quick and activated. Luckily there's no lag on Apple servers. Let's enable location services and you've now got options. Do you want to restore from an iTunes backup? Do you want to restore from an iCloud backup? Or do you want to set up as a new iPhone? So we're going to show you how to restore from an iCloud backup, but we're not going to go all the way, and then we're going to come back and set it up as a new iPhone. So you restore from an iCloud backup, it will now ask you to sign in with your Apple ID and password. Once you've, hit, once you've entered those, you can press Next. It will then validate your email address, your Apple ID email address and password with the Apple servers. Once done that, it will bring up a list of all the backups stored in your iCloud. You tap on one, tap on install. Let's go back. Set up as a new iPhone, because a lot of people today are going to have the iPhone for the first time. One of the articles I read the other day from an analyst in America even said, of all the people surveyed, 30% were Android users planning to upgrade to an iPhone 6. So let's set up as a new iPhone. Now it asks you to sign in with your Apple ID, and you've got numerous options. You can either sign in, you can create a free Apple ID, or you can skip this step. We're going to sign in with your Apple ID. Now it asks you for Apple ID, your username and password. And then it asks you, would you like to send your terms and conditions? To read the terms and conditions, you can either send them to yourself by email, read through them, and then either press disagree or agree. I can't name anyone off the top of my head who's actually read them, so I'm just going to tap agree. Because let's be honest, unless you tip or tap agree, you're not actually going to be able to use your new phone. And now it says it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Now it asks, would you like to use iCloud? So we're going to use iCloud. And then it says, would you like to enable Find My iPhone? Now this allows you to locate, lock, and erase your iPhone if you ever lose it. And for those guys in the US, we we'll probably recommend you do this, because if you're going to use something called Apple Pay, provide some security. And now it asks about iMessage and FaceTime. Where do you want to let other people contact you on, reach you at? You can add your email addresses here. Let's tap Next. And yeah, do you want to use iCloud Drive? Do you want to upgrade to it? Store your files in iCloud and access them anytime on all of your devices. It even says here, note you will not be able to access the documents currently stored in iCloud on the following devices until they are also upgraded to iOS 8 or OS X Yosemite, local host. Let's not upgrade for now. But one good thing about iCloud Drive is it allows you to make edits on any app or any device. And then it's similar to Google Docs, the most updated version available everywhere. Let's not upgrade for now. Are you sure you don't want iCloud Drive? Well, yes, Apple. If I want it, I'm sure I'll go get it. Press continue. And now it's updating iCloud settings. And now it says touch ID. And to be honest, you can either, you can put your thumb on the home button now to start, or you can set it up later. We're gonna give you a complete demo later on. But for now, let's press set up touch ID later. And now ask create a passcode. So we're just going to go 0000. zero, zero, zero. Don't worry, I'm sure by the time any of you get hold of my iPhone, I will have changed that. iCloud Keychain, really, really useful. Basically, if you're using a Mac or an iPad, we'd recommend you do this because it allows you to use the same stored passwords you've got on those devices on your iPhone. It's not just a case of an email or a password. It's all about having to either approve it from another device or using your iCloud security code. We're gonna go, don't restore passwords for now. But it also says you can turn on iCloud Keychain later in the settings. Really useful, in case you decide you don't wanna do it now, especially like my case, especially on video,
but you probably might want to do it later on. And we'll, give you, give you, we'll even give you a video later on showing you exactly how to approve it. Let's type continue. Use Siri. Siri is Apple's personal assistant, voice assistant, really cool. Just use Siri. You can always turn it off. And diagnostics. Now, diagnostics apparently help Apple improve its products and services. And this is where you decide whether you want it to automatically send or not send at all. To be honest, we've seen a lot about privacy. And if you can avoid giving someone like Apple all of your information, well, more than they've already got, we probably avoid it. Because if you want to give them feedback, you'll go out your way to do it. You don't want it sending pretty much anything you want, especially as it says here, diagnostic data may include location. Yeah, we're not going to send that. Display zoom, really useful. And one of the things that we've always questioned is when Apple does eventually make the big the change and the jump to bigger devices, how will they handle a bigger display? Well, they came up with something called display zoom. So you've got the option to stick to what you know, which is five rows by four bigger icons, or you can go six rows, an extra row of icons, but smaller. Having all the time said that Apple never makes the use of big displays, especially like the iPad, it's just a bunch of icons on a screen. I can do that on my Mac, or my laptop, or anything. We're definitely going to choose the standard view. This shows you what it looks like. You've got the option of standard or zoomed. This is standard. This is zoomed. We're going to definitely choose standard. Tap on next. Welcome to iPhone. Let's get started. And now this is the new iPhone 6, iOS 8. We've got a lot to show you on the iPhone 6, iOS 8. There's so much more left to do. But for now, good things come to those who wait. This has been a guide to show you how to set up your iPhone 6 for the first time. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.